Last month I told you I made the perfect one item PK account. And you guys loved that video of me dressed up as Rambo, one-shotting noobs back to Lumbridge. But this account is making its return, and I have broken the RuneScape combat formula. Yes! Woo! That's right, War Artisan, the 44 combat 99 strength Iron Man account is making its return. With 6 attack, 99 strength, and 70 ranged, I have cheated the traditional ways RuneScape stats are supposed to be trained, and made a fully optimized build. Just one more level in any combat stat, and I'll enter a new combat level. And as most of you know, as an Iron Man, I don't gain combat experience when fighting other players. Oh my god! No way! With the Dragon Warhammer I hunted down from cannoning lizard shamans, I am well geared to crush any noobs in my combat bracket. I can one-shot their entire hit points, and there is absolutely nothing they can do. And goodbye. <laughs> Lol. Within Bounty Hunter, there are anti-rushing mechanics that disable freezing and teleporting. That makes the Solus Atomus account basically useless here, which is why it's been dethroned as the perfect one item account. On this one, I can usually rush people and have just enough hit points to tank their attacks, as long as they don't hit above 27. Oops. Anyway, this account just isn't fair. So I'm gonna tell my opponents exactly what is going to happen before it happens. Watch out! Someone is going to rush you! Look who it is. Oh, it worked! <laughs> okay, beautiful. 435k. Ooh, we've got some more prey. Level 48. All right, let's go, John. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's rushing me. Watch out. Someone is going to take your items. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I got his key. You are in a dangerous area. I told him. I told him he was in a dangerous area, okay? I'm going to rush you now. Hello. Oh, shit. I lost my emblem. But it's okay, because look how quick it is to gear up. Boom. I'm ready to PK. And I have some other tricks up my sleeve, which I'll show you right after this. Welcome to the world of old school RuneScape, where teamwork and strategy are the key to success and victory. But just like in Castle Wars, online battles are not just fought by individuals, but by teams. That's why ExpressVPN makes it their mission to protect your team's online privacy and security. Just like how this group was able to succeed through teamwork and strategy, ExpressVPN service works to protect your team. They do this by encrypting your internet connection and hiding your IP addresses, making it more difficult for DDoS attackers to target your team. Don't let your team's online security be compromised. This will probably be interesting to you. I've personally used ExpressVPN for three years, well before they sponsored me, and it's a wonderful tool to make me more secure and help me access region-locked content. I've continued to use it because it works so seamlessly. You just tap connect and that's it. Plus, the speeds are reliable, and I can play games through ExpressVPN's encrypted routing with a steady connection and fast speeds. This is the fastest VPN I've ever used, in fact, and it works on multiple devices including your desktop, phone, iPad, and more. All of this while keeping your browsing activity hidden from your internet service provider and snooping ad companies. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash chemq or clicking the link in the description below. ExpressVPN, your team's defender in the digital world. Someone is about to humiliate you. Let's see if it works. See if that person is going to be me. Oh, yes! <laughs> it was me indeed. Oh, he did not expect to die. He was like a tank Obby Mauler. That was such a cool build. 300k to the bank account. Someone is going to spec you real oh, soon. Oh, beastly tank. I can tank this guy. I'm dead. Hello, buddy. And goodbye. <laughs> there he is. And he's schooled up. Hey, <laughs> I got the first hit. Oh, yes. Emblem upgrade as well. Ooh, that was lucky. Is she going to hit me? Come on, buddy. Oh! 
Oh, of course the poison kills me. Oh, nice. Did not know if I could get that guy. Okay, cool. I have 10 bounty kills now. Very good. He didn't expect to die there. <laughs> All right, how much loot? 96K. Probably not worth redeeming. Hello, buddy. Oh, nice. Good fight. And I'm at tier four now. Ooh, okay, okay. Honestly, I might want to turn in this emblem because uh, that's a lot of points. Wow. Now, of course, this account doesn't come without its downsides. I got Mithril Gloves at 10 hit points on this count, which wasn't an easy challenge to take on. There are the maintenance costs of paying for all those gloves, plus all the supplies that I get. For example, the amulets of strength that I craft and enchant, the amethyst that I mine for at the mining guild that I craft into amethyst arrow tips, and then fletch into amethyst arrows. All these blighted supplies that I got from last man standing. Over 10,000 of each blighted anglerfish and blighted manta rays definitely coming in handy for bounty hunter. And then 2,500 blighted super restores. That makes it so I don't have to do nearly as much potion making, though there is still a fair bit of that as you can see from my attack potions, ranging potions, and strength potions. For the magic short bows, cut magic logs, pick flax, make those flax into bowstrings, cut the magic logs into magic short bow on strung, and then attach the bowstrings. Least to say, it's a lot of effort to get one PK supply set up. The Guthics rests also take a very long time to make and farm the herbs for, but it's all worth it. I'm on the hunt. There he is. Oh! Good fight, sir. Yes! Woo! Oh, that's a tier six for me. Look at that beautiful statuette in my inventory. That is wonderful. And he was risking 55k. I've got five keys on me. Look at me. Oh, I'm loaded. Where is he? I banked my emblem, so even if this guy kills me, which is very likely, I will have stored all my points in the bank, so we're good. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. And I'm dead. Alice, you gotta train your hit points level for me, bud. All right. Ooh, it's not him. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. And I'm dead. I lost my tier six. He didn't even spec. Sad scam game. 27.9 mil risk. Oh my God. <laughs> No way! Oh my goodness! He lied. He said he was risking 27 mil. Oh God, my target's coming for me and I'm risking millions. My target's right there. I better run. Okay, we should be okay. We should be okay. Yes! Not as much as he said, but still seven mil. I will take that. Thank you. Okay. And that's the key transferred. And now I get to loot it. Beautiful. Ranger's tunic, fury. Oh, manacles. That is a... Very fascinating name. I don't know, this guy might just be too good for me to take him out. Oh, never mind. Risky indeed, friend. Tier 2 upgrade. Hello, buddy. Doesn't see me coming. Ooh, could have been. He's dead. Boom. What? I'm dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nothing. It's okay. Uh, that's my little five-year-old cousin. Do you want to give me a hug? Okay. Buddy. Hey. What are you playing? It's called RuneScape. Mm. Are you in a room? Uh, no. So it's... many people have, have those bones on their head. What do you think about them? What does that mean? It means they are dangerous and they attack people. Mm. Yeah. What attack people? These people. The people that have bones on top of their head. Do you have a bone on top of your head? Not right now, I died. Why, why'd you die again? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. 
I'm sorry, friend. Sorry. <laughs> Emblem upgrade. Very nice. Oh, I got him. Yes. Oh, baby. No way. I got good loot. Look at that. 2.2 mil. And I'd say that's worth transferring to the other account. What did he have? Berserker necklace. Nice. Okay, that's a fun PK. Mr. I Ruthless is my next target. He has 60 hit points. I think I can uh, take that out. Let's see. He has Angler though. Oh, <laughs> nice. I got lucky there. What I'm really looking forward to is a potential new update that Jagex will release, where if you die with an esoteric emblem, it will only downgrade to a tier below that. So in the future, I might not lose all of my progress towards a tier 10. I'll actually be able to rack up a ton of bounty hunter points and maybe one day unlock the Stadius Warhammer. On top of that, I could get Vesta armor. Of course, that would require 20 defense. Do you guys think I should get 20 defense on this account? Let me know in the comments below.